there are different ways to make Photoshop faster. So before you want to go buy a new computer, make sure to try out these methods and you might get some better speed in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to change in Photoshop to get super fast results. So especially when you work with big files, it can be quite difficult to get normal speed in Photoshop. So let's go into Photoshop here. When you open up Photoshop, just go down here, Adobe Photoshop, then go to preferences and let's open up general here. And here we can see the different menu. Now, if we go to scratch disks here, here you can see the scratch disks are saved on my Macintosh HD. Here you want to select a SSD hard drive. So if you have a SSD, make sure to select it here. If you don't see your hard drive here, so sometimes it's not popping up here, that's because you didn't format your hard drive right. I have an external SSD. I don't see it here because I didn't format it right. But I don't want to do that because I have enough space on my internal hard drive on my MacBook. So if you don't see it here, you can format your hard drive to Mac OS Extended Journaled hard drive if you are using a Mac on Windows it's different you have to check it out but for Mac it's Mac OS journaled so scratch disks are actually temporarily files that Photoshop saves on your hard drive to work faster and they will delete later right so you want to make sure you have enough space here so if you have like 10 gigabytes free space Photoshop is gonna get really laggy and this might be one of the problems so make sure you select your hard drive here and make sure it's SSD if it's possible now the next one is to go to performance and here we can see the available RAM that is using so 70% is standard by Photoshop if you have more RAM you can increase this one let's say I have 16 giga gigabytes of RAM and I would probably increase this. You can see here an ideal range, but you can even go higher if you don't use lots of other stuff. I'm gonna increase this like say 85. And the best way to check this is to just increase the speed and then try work with your files again and see if it got faster. And this might save you a lot of money if you increase this one and you might don't need a new computer. So let's leave it at 85 here. Make sure you also enable the graphics processor here because that way it's gonna use the graphics processor to process everything in Photoshop and not just your computer right so this is also something that needs to be checked and for the cache levels if you're working with small files like maybe 1024 pixels then you should lower this to maybe two or three but if you work with big files I always work with big files so I keeping this at the high range around six so if you work with bigger files keep it at six or higher but for my this is fine so I have that six now and make sure you have multi-threaded compositing on to increase your speed. So those are the most important things to do when you want to increase your Photoshop speed. There is also other stuff that you can do, for instance, the history states. So when you work in something and you press Ctrl Z, Photoshop has to save that in the history, right? So if you're gonna decrease this like maybe 10, it's gonna work faster because Photoshop doesn't have to remember every step you did the history of Photoshop but I need to go back a lot in my Photoshop work so I'm just keeping it at 40 but if you don't go back a lot like me well I go back a lot but if you don't go back a lot you can decrease this in like maybe 20 or something and try it out to see if that works faster so these are the most important parts to make Photoshop faster there's some other stuff like if you have a lot of fonts or brushes in your Photoshop it's gonna take a while to load them up while starting up so you can also delete a lot of fonts I have over 100 fonts and I'm probably using like maybe 5% or less so I'm also a bit lazy to get rid of those because my speed is fine here but if you have a lot of fonts and brushes make sure to delete those that you don't use and then Photoshop is gonna get faster also so those are the best three things to do if that doesn't work well then you probably have to upgrade your computer and make sure you have enough RAM because that's pretty important for Photoshop to really get the best speed. So thanks for watching. This was just a quick little video to make Photoshop faster. If you want to learn more, make sure to check out one of these videos. Until then, catch you on the next one.